Today I'm here in Hello Kitty Cafe to do another building video. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video because we are going to try and recreate the Karomi map. There is a few rooms in the Karomi map, the classic Karomi spooky cafe map, that actually have some of the items in Hello Kitty Cafe so you can kind of recreate them. The only thing that we don't have is the hiding cabinets, but I'm going to try my best to recreate that room in my own cafe. And today I'm just going to do the two side-by-side -side rooms with the fireplaces. I'm going to try and recreate that map the best I can. Since there is lots and lots of items that we can use that are in Hello Kitty Cafe, so I'm very excited to do that. You can also do the middle point of the map too like the center room, the main room, but it does require a lot more space. So if you guys want me to do another video like this, maybe we can recreate the middle room. But today I'm gonna do the fireplace rooms. On my third floor, I already have it kind of planned out here. This is the two rooms and I tried to make them look the best I can because in one of the rooms you got the two doors, there's also two windows. We actually do have windows and doors now so I was able to recreate that a little bit using those. They're not quite the right color and it's same with inside the room. There is like the striped pink and purple walls but they aren't quite like this one. They don't have the symbols on them, but it's the closest I can get. And then you also have the wall on the side, and it's definitely like a lot more of a purpley pink in this room. But again, we're just trying to recreate it the best we can. But I would love some colors like that. The only thing is you can't go through the windows, so sadly, we might not be able to recreate the window. I might have to remove that wall if we want to go through the fireplace, like in the game, but... The next thing that I need to do is the flooring, and we actually do have the flooring that matches in this room. It is pink and blue flooring, so that's what we're gonna do here. And in the other room, this room is a little bit different. There is light pink and like a light purple. We don't have light purple like that, but I will use purple and try to make it match the best I can. So I'm gonna start off with the flooring first since we already have the rooms all ready. The rooms are about the same size. I would say they're a little bit smaller. I'm trying to use the space that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and put away my sweet pals though and then we'll go ahead and get started on the floors. Let's start with this one since this one's easy and we can actually match the colors. For this it looks like it is the pink and the blue and I'm pretty sure it is just the classic blue tile. It's nice and bright blue. Those look almost the same and then we have that pink tile and I want to say that it is this pink tile here. It is a little lighter, I think. Maybe we could use the cinema roll one and it would look a little closer. I think that is the closest we are going to get. I think those two are the best. So we're going to use cinema roll and the classic blue tiles. So I'm going to do the flooring really, really quick. And then we can get to the good stuff, the decorations. And for the floors, they're just classic checkered flooring. So these ones are going to be really easy to recreate. I got the floors all completed and that is a pretty spot on match right there. Now let's go to the other side and do this one. This one's a little harder because I don't think we have the light purple, but we do have the light pink. So I'm going to use this light pink here. And I think for the purple, it's either going to have to be purple or lavender. I think out of both of them, I think the purple is the closest to that color. So that is what I'm going to use. It's not quite right. It's a little lighter. It's a really pretty purple though. I really hope that we get a purple like that soon. But let's go ahead and do this side. Again, it's the same, just a simple checkered pattern. Now we got the second room floor done. That one's pretty close. The purple is a little bright though, but that is the floors and the walls done. So now we can get to the good stuff, which is the decorations. And I think we can make something pretty similar to it. 
like I said, the only thing we probably won't be able to do is the cabinets. Right here, there is three cabinets you can hide in. Maybe we can find something else that looks a little similar just so it's not empty. But in the room, when you first walk in, there is these partitions and they are the VIP partitions and they're kind of like up front kind of like this but there is three of them so we got one here one over here too and the third one is actually right here in the middle but that is where the partitions would be like I said the spacing is a little off too so maybe we should scoot this back just a little bit I think that will make it look a little bit better and behind those partitions is the Karomi tables so back here we need to use the ones from her capsule machine and there's one here and there's also one here here is one of the fireplaces we'll put it down right there we might have to scoot up this one then like one right there because these tables also need sofas so we'll put down the sofa as well and now that's looking really close to the map in Kuromi Spooky Cafe right there. I think there's also a Kuromi picture right here. It's the one with her writing Baku. It's this one right here. I think that one is from her capsule machine too. That one is super cute. Now in the middle right here we have the piano. The rainbow piano goes right here and then in the back right over there is the fish tank and it looks like we have enough space just enough space for all those things like i said the spacing is a little off since we don't have very much space but that is pretty spot on it looks like the only other thing we are missing are the chromie wall lamps like the drop lamps and also the hiding cabinets here. Instead of the hiding cabinets, I think I'm gonna actually use the Kurumi counter just so it's not blank right there. And it is somewhat similar a little bit, so we'll put that there just so it's not empty. And then we'll go ahead and also grab the Kurumi lamps too. I only have three, so we'll put one right here. And I think another one goes right here. I want to say another one goes over here. I only have three and I think there might be some on the other side. But there we go. We got the first room done. I think that's all the decorations and everything. Now let's go to the other side and let's do this room over here. We can also do this one as well. We'll start with the fireplace first. We know it's supposed to go right there. So let's grab this and put it down right there and that is the fireplace it's a little off that's not quite how the fireplace looks but that's the only one that we have and on the other side by the fireplace right here there's a bunch of photos and i try to get a good look at them so we can see which ones we need it looks like we have dear daniel's birthday tuxedo sam and then we have gudetama Heckle's birthday photo, Panda Apple's birthday photo, Wish Me Mel's birthday photo, Kurobi's birthday photo, and Choco Cat. So first, let's start off over here with Dear Daniels. Good thing I have all the birthday photos. We'll put it right here, because it looks like the majority of them are birthday photos. And I think we are going to have enough space. We might have to move things around a little bit. Next, we need Tuxedo Sam's, and it goes right up there. And it looks like it is this one. How cute. I love that one. Now we need Gudotama's, and this one's actually in um, the shop, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's a birthday photo, but I'm pretty sure it goes kind of like right there. And then we need Panda Apples. It's kind of in the middle, so we'll put it right here. Uh-oh, we're running out of space. There's not enough space on the wall. We'll try to get them all in there because we also need wish me mails and it looks like hers kind of goes like that oh no this is definitely not enough space karopi and choco cat and peckle are the last ones so peckle we'll put them over here you can't put them on the wall there so let's scoot everything over maybe that will work we need peckles and we need choco cat and karopi we have choco cat Oh no, this is not enough space. We'll put it over here 
and then we'll put down Kuropi's. Is it this one? Yes, it is that Kuropi photo. Okay, let's see if I can get them on this wall. You know, I might actually have to remove this wall and just do the normal walls. In order to get them all on there, we gotta kind of do something like that. I mean, it's all the photos. The spacing does not look right at all. I'm wondering maybe if we can just simplify it. Maybe we have to remove Kuropi so we can make it look like it, but we might just have to get Kuropi out of there. That's like the closest we're probably gonna get it. It looks like the walls are a lot taller, so we need a partition right here, it looks like. And then there is another one too, so one there, and then one like right there. On this side, there's two tables, so we're gonna put one right here and one right here. So that's kind of how that looks. There would be a little more space, but that's the closest we're probably gonna be able to get it. And then on the other side, there is two more partitions, so let's grab those really quick. There's one that is facing out kind of like that, and then there is another one down here across from this one, and that is about how that looks. And then there is some extra decorations and a table over there too. There's actually two tables. So let's put both of those down. There's one in the back and then one in the front. Scoot it back just a little bit. There's also decorations too. And I hope I have enough space because there is a palm tree. I think we can put it right there. And there's also a trash can and a magazine. Hopefully we can put that all down. I think I might have to scoot this stuff over a little bit and maybe this up a little bit more so we can fit it all in there, but let's put down the couches first. So there's our tables and then there's like a palm tree like over here. It's kind of in the middle, so maybe I will actually scoot this up a little bit and put it in the middle of these two tables right here because that's about where it's at. And then there's also a magazine rack kind of in the back over here. So we'll put it down right there. Oh, there's also one more partition down here actually. So let's scoot this up just a tad and put down the last partition right here. This would be where the cabinets would be at instead of the cabinets. Let's just put down two chromy counters. And the very last thing it looks like that we need for the decorations is a trash can. I think it goes like right there. Oh, it actually goes up against the wall just like that. There we go. Okay, that is pretty similar to the map. It's a little small, but pretty spot on. Now that I'm looking at the floors, I realize it's actually like yellow. It's actually this pink color and the yellow now that I look at the floors again. Should we replace it? with that yellow. I think that's the closest we're gonna get it. So I'm actually gonna replace the floors really quick. I didn't realize it was actually kind of yellowish. It looked purple at first. But there's also a drop lamp. So I'm gonna put the drop lamp over here. And then I'll do the floors again. And I think we are complete with this challenge. I think this goes about right there. Now let's go ahead and do the floors really quick. It does look like the yellow is a little bit lighter than that, but it's either this light yellow or pom-pom. I think that the light yellow is the closest. So I'm gonna redo the floors really, really quick so we can get it spot on and then we'll be done. And there we go. That looks a little more similar to the map. And that is the Kuromi recreation in my cafe of the Kuromi Spooky Cafe map. That's just half of the map, the two rooms. I definitely could try to do the main room, but I'm going to need a lot more space. But this is the other room over here. I really, really love how this turned out and it does look very very similar too bad we can't go through like the chromey map that would be so fun i really like how this came out i'm pretty impressed that it's pretty spot on and there is a lot of items that we can use to make it look like the map too. So that is the recreation of the Kuromi maps. If you like this video and you want 
something similar to this again let me know we can do the main area and there's also a whole nother map that one's a little harder to do since it is the newer map but i think we could probably do a room or two in that too but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys later bye